Good evening, Jeremias. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is March 23rd. Uh-huh, I wonder where everybody is, huh? Good evening, Jacqueline. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I am fine. What about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, very good. Good evening, Delia. How are you tonight? I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm happy because I I can learn today. Okay, very good. I like that attitude. Good <laughs> evening, Catherine. How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Very good. Okay, let me see. Nothing. So let me see. Good afternoon. Good good evening, Oscar Arnulfo. How are you tonight? It's great. Just great night. Okay, very you? good. Very good. Good evening, Roberto. How are you tonight? Fine, and you, coach? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, very good. Good evening, Cesar. How are you tonight? How are you, teacher? Good evening. Okay, very good. Uh, good evening, Sandra. How are you tonight, Sandra? Okay, let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, very good guy. Good evening, Enrique. How are you tonight? Good evening, I'm great. Okay, thank you. Good evening, Sandra. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you again. Okay, very good. Good evening, Bessie. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, very good. Good evening, Karen. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher and everybody. I'm okay. Thanks. You are okay. Okay, very good, guys. 
Okay, so let me get started, okay? Let me share with you. Okay, let me share with you the book, okay? Okay, so we, here we have the book. You remember that yesterday we worked on, there is on and there are, okay? We say that we use there is with singular nouns. And we use there are with plural nouns, okay? So now, we are gonna be able to describe how my and other working places and areas look like. Okay, so ask a classmate which places are in the working place. How does your working area look like? Okay, we're gonna do that later. Okay, there is a, uh, hold on, give me a second. Hey guys, very good. So, read the description of Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar's workplaces. Can you guess where they work? For example, there is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. So. It works in a hotel. In a hotel, right? High-tech elevators, comfortable rooms, beautiful lobby. Now, the next one. There is a narrow reception area. There are, third, there are two dirty dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center. And there are small offices. Can you guess where they work? Hello? No? Nope. Okay, um, we're gonna get back to that, okay? Let's let's get uh, on this. Can you see the exercise using there is and there are?
Okay, now here are the things that we have. So what is number one? There are. There are. So there are. A complete, complete, right? There are. There are some, are some bananas. bananas. There are some bananas. Okay, there are some bananas. Very good. What is the next one? Okay, Enrique, number two. There is one clock. There is one clock. What is the next one? There is a butterfly. There is a butterfly. There is a butterfly. Now the next one. What is the next one? There are two lamps. Two lamps. Okay. There are two lamps. And can you see one is here, the other one is here. Okay, the next one. Okay, we're gonna go in order, Jacqueline. There are some books. Okay, there are some books. Okay, thank you. The next one, Oscar Arnulfo. There is some water. There is some water, very good. There. There is some water. Now, what is the next one? Delia, what is the next one? There are, there are some tomatoes. There are some tomatoes. Now, Karen, what is the next one? There are two mice. Mice. There are two mice. Okay, these are mice. One is mouse. Okay, singular. Singular is mouse. And plural, mice, ratones. Okay, so there are two mice. Thank you for explanation. Okay, Sandra, what is the next one? There is a parrot. There is a parrot. Okay, there is a parrot right there. Okay, the next one, uh, Catherine. There is a cat. There is a cat. Okay. Now we can also put some adjectives before. Before there are some, and here we can put delicious bananas. So you see, we put an adjective, an adjective, delicious. There is one big clock. Okay, now let's see. Jeremias, what can we say about the lamps? Let's put an A, uh, a butterfly. What can we say about the butterfly? <laughs> Sorry, teacher, I don't understand. Okay. Estamos diciendo de que le podemos agregar un adjetivo antes de el sustantivo. El sustantivo es bananas. Entonces, aquí le pusimos there are some delicious bananas. Mm -hmm. Y aquí a clock le pusimos there is a big clock. ¿Ok? ¿Qué adjetivo le podemos poner a la mariposa? Adjetivo. Small. There is a small, but por ejemplo, ahí alguien dijo, there is a small butterfly. Ok, what can we say about the lamps, Roberto? There are... 
For example, the color is an adjective. Blue. There are two are blue lamps. There are two blue lamps. Hola. There are two blue lamps. There are two blue lamps. Okay, the next one, Caesar. What can we say about the book? De colores, ¿cómo se diría? Ah, colorful, colorful, coloridos. Um, there, are, there, are, there are some colorful full books. There are some colorful books. That is correct. Very good. Now, what can we say about the water? Uh, cool. Helado. There is some cool. Crystalline. There is some crystalline water. Now, what about tomatoes? <laughs> okay, Delia? Um, I think is there are some healthy tomatoes. There are some? Healthy. Healthy tomatoes. Okay, now let's go with the next one. Mice. You see, these are the mice. Dangerous mice. There are two dangerous mice. There are two dangerous. Dangerous mice. Okay, very good. The next one. There is a red parrot. There is a? There is a green parrot. Hey, very green good. Parrot. There is a green parrot. Uh-huh, and the cat. There is a beautiful cat. Okay, there is a beautiful cat. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, here we have a camel. What will be? What does it mean camel, teacher? Camel, camello. There is. There is a, there a brown camel. Is, okay, first there is a camel. Okay, now. What can we say about camels? What adjectives can we add? Alto. Okay, there is a tall. A tall camel. There is a tall camel. Okay. The next one. Plural. There are. There are. There are. Bye. Pero habíamos dicho que cuando usamos any, tenemos que utilizarlo en preguntas o en negativos. Entonces. There are not. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. Like here we can put there aren't any birds. Ok, by aquí lo vamos a cambiar a song milk. Ok. So, how can you, you say that? 
There is not. No, afirmativo. Ah, there, there is some, some milk. Some milk. Uh -huh. The next one. There, I have there a question. Is, there is a chair. Okay, what is your question? Why is there is because milk is uncountable? Uh huh. Because all uncountables we said, remember here. We, okay, here. We also use there is, you remember? We also use there is with uncountable nouns. There is milk in the fridge. There is some sugar on the table. There is ice cream on your shirt. Got it. Thank okay. you. Okay, uncountable nouns are those nouns that you cannot count. For example, water, sugar, milk, oil okay you cannot count so you use there is okay very good let's go with the next one okay so what is the next one in this one we have to use there uh -huh, negative you remember there aren't any cars. There aren't any cars. Okay, very good. The next one. There aren't. There aren't. There there are. there are. That is correct. There, there are, are crocodiles. Crocodiles. There are crocodiles. Okay, the next one. There is an apple. There is an apple. The next one. <clears throat> Dinosaurs. There is ten. There are dinosaurs. There aren't. Okay. What is it? There? There aren't dinosaurs. There aren't dinosaurs. Okay. There aren't dinosaurs. Now, the next one. So wine is uncountable. There is any wine. Ah, because it's any, it has to be negative. There isn't anyone. Remember, any, you use it in questions or in negatives. Okay, the next one, do you know what is a ghost? Un fantasma. What is it? There is. there is a ghost. There is a ghost. Okay, very good. Now, ah, all of these were negative. <laughs> okay, well, okay, let's make them negative. I'm sorry. So, what is number one? There is. There is. There is. There is. A camel. Number a camel. two. Number three. There isn't some, some milk. milk. There isn't any milk. It has to be any. Okay. There isn't any milk. The next one. There isn't, there isn't a chair. The next one. There. Okay. The next one. What is this one? There, there aren't crocodiles. There aren't crocodiles. crocodiles. The next one? There isn't an, any apple. There isn't an apple. An apple. There aren't dinosaurs. There isn't any wine. And 
There is a ghost. There isn't a ghost. Okay, repeat after me. There aren't any birds. There aren't any birds. There aren't any birds. There isn't any milk. There isn't any milk. There isn't a camel. There isn't a camel. There isn't a chair. There isn't a chair. There aren't any cars. There aren't any cars. There aren't crocodiles. There aren't crocodiles. There isn't an apple. There aren't dinosaurs. There aren't dinosaurs. There isn't any wine. There isn't a ghost. There isn't a ghost. A ghost. Okay. Vamos a ver quién estaba. Okay, the next one. Now we are going to make questions. Now, how do we make questions? We place is. At the beginning, is there if it is singular or are there if it is plural? Okay, what is number one? Eh, Ramon? Um, is there a table? Is there a table? Very good. Number two, Delia? Are there any, are there any glasses? Are there any glasses? Very good. Karen, the next one. Are there any chairs? Are there any chairs? Very good. Uh, Catherine, the next one, please. Is there a girl? Is there a girl? Very good. Uh, Sandra, what is next? Are there any food? No, what do we say that we are going to use with uh, uncountables? Remember with uncountables, what are we going to use with uncountables? There is. Ah, uh -huh, there is. Okay. okay, very good. So. Let's go with the next one, okay? So, there is there any food? Is there any food? Very good. Okay, Caesar, what is the next one? Are there any milk? No, because milk is uncountable. What are we going to use with uncountable? Is there any any milk? Uh huh. Is there any milk? Very good. Okay. The next one, uh, Bessie. Hello, Bessie. Are, are there ten oranges? Are there ten oranges? Very good. Next, Francisco. Is there an apple? Is there an apple? Very good. Uh, the next one, Oscar Arnulfo. Is there any? Knives, okay, oh. now look. The singular is knife. This is a singular, cuchillo. And knives is the plural. So what is the question? Are there any knives? Are there any knives? Okay, very good. Hey, Jacqueline, what is the next one? Are there strawberries? Are there strawberries? Very good, excellent. 
Okay, the next one, Enrique. Mm, I think it is, it is a pencil on the kitchen table. No, no, no. We are working with there is, with we are asking questions using is there and are there. Is there a pencil on the chicken table? Is there a pencil on the kitchen table? Okay, very good. Is there a pencil? Okay, the next one, Jenny. Are there pullovers in the suitcase? Are there pullovers in the suitcase? Very good. Next, Sandra Maricela. Sandra Maricela, turn on your microphone. Karen Lopez, what is the next one, Karen? Is there a football match on Saturday? Is there a football match on Saturday? Very good. The next one, uh, Catherine. Hola. Are there pets on the farm? Are there pets on the farm? Okay, hello, Sandra. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. The next <laughs> one. Okay, that one, Sandra. Uh, and pets. Okay. okay, remember that this is plural, computers. In questions. Okay, let's see, Cesar. Uh, are there computers in your room? Are there computers in your room? Okay, very good. Roberto Antonio, what is the next one? Is there a museum in your hometown? Is there a museum in your hometown? Okay, very good. The next one. Delia? Are there many trees in the park over there? Are there many trees in that park over there? Okay, what is the next one? Is there a blue car in the garage? Is there? Is there? A blue car in the garage. Okay, geo catches. Okay, uh, the next one, Ramon. Um, are there? Geocaches. Geo okay, just give me a second. We're going to see what geocaches are. Geocaches. Ah, okay. Those are geocaches. Okay. To catch insects. Geocaches. Okay, so the next one is uh, this one. Okay. Uh -huh, Ramon. Are there geocaches in this forest? Are there geocaches in this forest? Okay, very good. Uh, Jeannie, what is the next one? Are there 29 days in February this year. Are there 29 days in February this year? Okay, very good. Okay, now, you see here now is a combination, okay? Now, based on the picture, based on the picture, you are going to write, okay, now, what is number one? 
There is. There is. Um, there is an igloo. There is an igloo. Now, number two. There are, there are there mountains. There are mountains. Okay. Now, the next one. Catherine. There is a leopard. Leopard. There, there, there is, is a, a leopard. leopard. Okay, because now. Teacher, is a question. Is there. Ah, I'm sorry. Is it's there. a question. That is correct. I'm sorry. It's a question. Is there. Yes. Is a leopard? leopard. Okay, next. Caesar. Uh, so yeah. There are any grass. Any grass. Uh huh. But grass. Can you count the grass? Can you count the grass? It's uncountable. It's uncountable. So how can we do it? There is. There is any grass. Uh -huh. There isn't any grass. Okay, very good. Now, this is a question. Okay, let's see who is next. Uh, Bessie? I'm... <laughs> I, um... Is there two penguins? No, is there because it's plural. Are there? Uh -huh. Are there two penguins? Are there two penguins? Very good. Next, Francisco, what is the next one? There are any trees? Ah, there are. Where, where are they? All right. So you're supposed to be negative, Francisco. Uh -huh, Francisco, how is it? There aren't there any trees. Aren't. Uh -huh, there aren't any trees. Okay, now what is number seven? Uh, let's see. Oscar Arnulfo, what is number seven? There is a, a, a snow a snowman. A snowman. There is the snowman. There is a snowman. Okay, Sandra Maricela, what is the next one? The um is there much snow? Is there much snow? Okay, very good. The next one. Uh, Caesar? Um, there is an eagle. Where, where? Where is the eagle? Can you see it? Okay, so how is the negative? How is the negative? Uh, there is a, an, an eagle. There isn't an eagle. There isn't an eagle. There isn't an eagle. That is correct. Okay. Jacqueline. What is the next one, Jacqueline? Is there any people? Uh huh. But people is plural. Are there any people? Are there? Are there any people? And yes, there are some people. Okay. Now. Okay, I don't know if there was a picture here. Okay, now what is number one, eh, Enrique? There are any animals in the forest? But that is an affirmation, but it's are, a question. Are there, yes. are there many animals? Are there many animals in this forest? The forest. Forest is bosque. Hay muchos animales en este bosque.
Okay, the next one, uh, Ramon. Um, there, there is no, there isn't air in this time. No, there is no air. When we have this, we have to, we put it in affirmative form because in English, we don't have two negations, okay? Now, do you know what is a tire? Let me show you what is a tire. Okay. Okay, there is no air in this tire, okay? Very good. Let me see the next one. Uh, Francisco? Are there in any trees in your garden? Are there any trees in your garden? Very good. Uh, the next one, Delia. Is um, there is one dictionary missing? There is. There is one dictionary missing. Okay, very good. The next one, Jeannie. There is no paper in the printer. There is no paper in the printer. Okay, very good. Sandra. There are jeans in my suitcase. There are jeans in my suitcase. Very good. The next one, Karen. Are... Remember the beef, beef is uncountable. Puede contar las libras, puede contar los pedazos. So, there, very there good. Is there a beef in this lasagne? Uh -huh. Is there beef in this lasagne? Okay, very good. Eh, Ramon. Um, there is lots for of businessmen in this poop. Okay, but lots is plural. Uh, there are lots of businessmen in this pub. Ah, business. Uh -huh. There are lots of businessmen in this pub. Pub is a public place. Okay, oh, very okay. good. The next one, Catherine. There is not a single frog in this lake. There is not a single frog in this lake. You know what is the meaning of frog? No. I don't know. Sapo, sapo. Okay, no hay ni un solo sapo en este lago. Okay, maybe that is the prince. Maybe that is the prince. Si hubiera un sapo, sería el príncipe. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Desi. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh -huh, again? Otra vez? Is there, is there anything else I can do for you? Very good. Is there anything else I can do for you? Very good. Okay. Now, before, okay, repeat after me. There's an igloo. There's an igloo. There are mountains. There are, there are mountains. Is there a leopard? Is there, there a leopard? leopard? There isn't any grass. There is there any grass. grass. Are there two penguins? Are there two penguins? There aren't any trees. 
There are, are there are three. three. There is a snowman. There is a snowman. There is a snowman. There is, a snowman. is there much snow? Is, is there, there much snow? snow? There is an eagle. There is an eagle. Are there any people? Are there, Are there any, people? any people? Are there many animals in this forest? Are there many animals in this forest? There is no air in this tire. There is no air in this tire. Are there any trees in your garden? Are there any trees in your garden? There is one dictionary missing. There is no paper in the printer. There is, there is paper no, paper no paper in the printer. There are jeans in my suitcase. There are jeans, are jeans in, my in my suitcase. Is there beef in this lasagne? Is there beef in this lasagne? There are lots of businessmen in this pub. There is not a single frog in this lake. There is not a single frog in this lake. Is there anything else I can do for you? Is there anything I can do for you? Okay, very good, guys. Now, let me check attendance, okay? So I'm going to check attendance. I had forgotten to check attendance. Okay, vamos a ver, Bessy Stephanie Mendes. Present. Okay, very good. Eh, Carlos Andrés Ramos Galicia. César Eduardo Alfaro Parada. Present. Thank you. Cristina Marisol García Argueta. Eh, Delia Noemí Valiente Linares. Present. Thank you. Enrique Américo Molina Barraza. Present. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Edgardo Méndez Coredas. Present. Thank okay. eh, Jeremías Adonai Miranda López. Se nos fue Jeremías. Ok, that is number... Eh, Karen Yesenia López Martínez. Present. Thank you. Catherine Stephanie Quintanilla. Presente. Ok, very good. Eh, Mario Mauricio Montano Molina. Present. Ok, very good. Ok, uh, Oscar Alejandro Molina Campos. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Ok. Eh, Ramón Alexander Mesa Cuadra. Ramón Alexander Mesa Cuadra. Ramón Alexander Mesa Cuadra. Roberto Antonio Ortiz Reyes. Present. Ok, very good. Ok, uh, Sandra Marisela Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Susana Carolina Guevara Ángel. Ok, Xochil Eneida Vázquez Valencia. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Y Jenny Suleima Santos Chávez. Present. Thank you. Ok, guys. Now that we learn to say what, what there is and what there are things in our place, now we're going to go back to the book. Ok. But first, let me share. Okay, now here. Uh, okay, first here. 
Mr. Mr. Paz described his workplace like this. There is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. And there are three high-tech elevators. Now, Mr. Aguilar described it, or Mrs. Aguilar described it like this. There is a narrow reception area. There are two dirty dining rooms. And there is an ugly photocopy center. And there are a small offices. Okay, and probably this is also a hotel. One with a positive description and one with a negative description. Questions? Uh, Questions sorry. about this vocabulary? Where is narrow? Narrow and gusto. Thank you. What else? Do you know what is the meaning of dirty? Sucios. There are two dirty dining rooms. Hay dos comedores sucios. Do you know the meaning of ugly? Feo. There's an ugly photocopy center. What is the meaning? There is a hook. Huge. huge pronunciation is huge huge, huge. Uh -huh. what is the meaning the meaning is a uh, immenso grande there is a huge parking lot es un inmenso parqueo un parqueo grandísimo okay. okay more questions Vale. Ok, bien. Ahora, vamos a... Yo quiero que usted le describa su lugar de trabajo a su compañero. ¿Está claro? Así que los voy a poner en paredes y usted escriba. Ok. There, there are a lot of machines. There, is, there are many desks. There... There are flowers in my area. There are many chairs. Uh, there are many people in the area I work. Okay. Entonces quiero que le describa. Le voy a dar cinco minutos. Okay. Dos minutos y medio cada uno para que describa su lugar de trabajo. Está claro? Hola. Sí. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, yes. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I'm going to make seven groups. Okay, here we go. Okay, Francisco and Oscar Arnulfo, room number one. Mario Montano and Jacqueline, room number two. Sala, eh, Bessie and Cesar, room number three. Delia Noemi and Catherine, room number four. Enrique and Roberto, room number five. Ramon. Okay, Ramon, I'm going to move you sala. to. ¿Ah? No me aparece para entrar a la sala. ¿A quién? A mí. ¿Quién a es Delia? mí? Eh, eh, no se han creado. <laughs> ah, no se han creado todavía. ¿Y ahora? Sí. Vaya, entren. A solo que a Ramón lo vamos a mandar a la sala 7. Ramón, vaya hacia la sala 7. Ah, vaya, Ramón. Quiero ver dónde está Sandra. Hi. Sandra, no. 
Ramón, lo voy a volver a mandar. Un momentito, ¿ok? Un momentito, usted va a ir a la sala 7. Pero todavía no, todavía no. Uh, many beautiful rooms. Ramón, lo voy a mandar a la sala 6 con Sandra, ¿ok? Ok, bye bye. Okay. Bye. César, le toca en la sala 3, César. Y a Ramón, ¿dónde está Ramón? Ok, mover a la sala 6. Ok, Ramón, you can enter in. Sandra, room number 6. Ramón, room number 6. César, room number 4. Sandra, room number six. Cesar, room number three, Cesar. No está Cesar por ahí. Okay, Bessie. Hi, teacher. Okay, Bessie, you can tell me how is your, what are the things that you can, that we, that you can, how can you describe your workplace? Dígame las cosas que hay en su lugar de trabajo, usando there is and there are. Okay, in my workplace, um, there is not to be. That is correct. There is no TV. No to, to be. Okay. Vaya, aquí está César. César, ¿me escucha? Yes. Vaya, Bessie le va a describir a César y César le va a describir a Bessie su lugar de trabajo diciendo, en mi lugar de trabajo hay flores, hay muchos escritorios, hay... Eh, máquinas de escribir, hay fotocopiadora, etcétera. ¿Estamos claros? Okay. Okay, very good.
Okay, very good. Let me see, Ramon. Only Ramon is there. Okay, very good, guys. Now, this is how they describe their working place. How does Mr. Paz, Mr. Paz describe his workplace? In la pantalla. No, sir, ah, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. So, you see, Mr. Paz says there is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. And Ms. Ms. Aguilar says there is a narrow reception area. There are two dirty dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center. There are small offices. Now, how does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? Uh -huh. Can you tell me? How oh, a beautiful place. Ah, a nice place, a nice place, right? And how does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? A very awful place to work. On which of the two places do you want to work? We in the place of Mr. Paz or in the place of Mr. Saguilar? Where the place of like Mr. Work? Mr. Paz, please. Mr. Exactly Paz. right. In Mr. Paz's place. Now, how to use adjectives before nouns? Positive adjectives. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. Negative adjectives. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. And there is a smelly living room. Questions? Questions about pronunciation or vocabulary? What did you say? Yes. yes? Smelly. Room. What's the name? A smelly living room. A smelly room. A eh, una sala edionda. Se lleve. There is a smelly living room. Un, una sala, hay una sala edionda. Thank you. Okay, more questions? Disgusting teacher. Disgusting is a... Es lo opuesto de que da gusto estar ahí. Desagradable. Desagradable. There is a disgusting kitchen area. Thank you. And the narrow? Narrow and gusto. Okay. Okay, more questions? Teacher, is smelly is hediondo? Hediondo. Hay otra palabra también que significa hediondo, stinky. Pero aquí es medio es que huele feo. Ok. Smelly. Ok. Now, complete these sentences using the words provided in the correct verb. Okay, vamos a usar siempre there is or there are. 
Vamos a ver. Number one. What is number one? There is a, a small gym. There is a small There is a small gym. Gym. There is a small gym. Okay, very good. There is a small gym. Excellent. Number two. There are new training rooms. There are new 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 training rooms. Training rooms. Okay, very good. There are new training rooms. Okay, este lo vamos a eliminar. Okay, and we are going to write it like this. There, oh, what happened? No. Okay. There is a small gym. Okay, now what about number, this is supposed to be number three. What there is number are, three? Uh-huh. There, there are clean, clean, clean cafeterias. cafeterias. Cafeterias, cafeterias. Okay, there are clean cafeterias. Okay, next. There is. There is. There is a smart, a smart meeting room. Meeting room. There is. Meeting room. There is a smart living room. Ah, meeting room. Meeting room. Okay, very good. What is the next one? There are. There are. There are. are Unpleasant. Bathrooms. Bathrooms. Okay, very good. Bathrooms. Unpleasant. There are unpleasant bathrooms. Do you know what is the meaning of unpleasant? No. Is, no. Is the opposite of pleasant. And pleasant is placenteros. And the opposite? No placentero. Exactly. Very good. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> okay, the next one. There is, there is a tiny bicycle. There is a tiny cubicle. cubicle. Uh, what is the mean tiny? Tiny, pequeñísimo. Uh, Bien pequeño, tiny. Okay, there is a tiny cubicle. Okay, excellent. So we're gonna leave it right here. Now, we're gonna keep on practicing. Here, I have some exercises for you. Okay, what is number one, Delia? There is a lion under the tree. There is a lion under the tree. Jacqueline. There are children in the car. There are children in the car. Enrique. There is a woman in the house. There is a woman in the house. Okay, the next one. Sandra. There are tigers in the cage. In the cage. What is the meaning of cage? Aula. 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 Karen, what is the next one, Karen? There are mice in the box. There are mice, mice, mice. in the box. Hay ratones en la caja. 
Ok, Oscar Arnulfo. Very. Oscar Arnulfo. Turn on, turn on your microphone, please. There are mangoes in the basket. There are mangoes in the basket. Roberto. There is an orange in the box. There is an orange in the box. Very good. Hey, Jeannie. There is a child in the school. Child. 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 Yeah, there is a child in the school. Okay, very good. Hey, Ramon. Number nine. Ramon, what is number nine, Ramon? There are there are buses on the road. There are buses on the road. Delia, what is number ten? There are boxes on the chair. There are boxes on the chair. Mario, what is number eleven? There are uh, elephants. No, because it's singular. When it's singular, we need is. When our plural, we need are. So there is an elephant in front of the house. Okay? Francisco, the next one. There are 12 months in, year, in a year. There are 12 months in a year. Okay, very good. The next one, Catherine. There is oxen in the field. No, oh, okay. An ox is one. One way, way. An oxen is plural. Okay. There are oxen in the field. There are oxen in the field. Hay bueyes in el campo. Caesar. The next one. There are 30 days in a year. There are 30 days in a year. Bessie. Una hormiga, an ant. There is an ant on the paper. There is an ant on the paper. Very good. Roberto Antonio. There is a boy in the room. There is a boy in the room. Check. Wow, an applause, very good. Excellent. Okay, now, we're gonna forget about that and we're gonna get to this one, okay? Uh, let me see, let me begin again. Francisco, what is number one? There is a keep. kite. Kite. Do you know what is the meaning of kite? No. Cucha, cometa. There is a kite. Okay, Karen, number two. There are two cats. There are two cats. Bessie. There are three people, three pencils. There are three pencils. Sandra Maricela. There is an orange. There is an orange. Okay, Francisco Edgardo. There are five boys. There are five boys. Karen Lopez. There are five birds. Birds. There are five birds. birds. Okay, very good. Let's see, best, uh, Roberto Antonio. There is a car. There is a car. Uh, Oscar Arnulfo. There is an umbrella. There is an umbrella. Jenny Suleyma. There are two men. There are two men. Very good. Ramon. There are three rulers. There are three rulers. Delia. There is an elephant. 
There is an elephant, Mario. There is a cat. There is a cat. Catherine. There are two policemen. There are two policemen. Okay, Caesar. There are two teachers. There are two teachers, Bessie. There are 10 students. There are 10 students. Roberto Antonio. There is an eraser. There is an eraser. Let's check. An applause. Very good. Very good. Thank, Thank okay. you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay. Now, let's do this exercise, okay? Let's begin with Jacqueline. There are... One, one piece of paper, singular. There is one piece of paper. Yes. There is one piece of paper, Enrique. There are eight pens. There are eight pens, Ramon. There's the bus. There's the bus, Delia. There's a bowl of oranges. Okay, now what is the meaning of bowl? Recipiente hondo, depósito. Okay, bowl is like when you La drink bowl. soup, that is a bowl. When you eat cereal, like Kellogg's, like uh, cornflakes, like sugar free, or okay, eso es un bowl, un tazón. There is a bowl of oranges. Okay, next, uh, Francisco. There are some orange in the bowl. Oranges, oranges. Okay, very good. Catherine. There are two cups of coffee. There are two cups of coffee. Bessie. There is a bag of potatoes. There's a bag of potatoes. Very good, Caesar. And there are some butter in the fridge. Now, butter is uncountable. What do we use with uncountable? Okay, uh, please. There's some butter in the fridge. There is some butter in the fridge. Very good, Caesar. Okay, let's go back with Hello, Francisco, are you there? Hello, hello. Ajá. Se, se, el internet se corta. <laughs> okay, no problem. There's a hair in my soup. Soup, soup. There is a hair in my soup. Okay, Karen Lopez. There's a lot of snow on the ground. There's a lot of snow on the ground, Catherine. There, there are a few biscuits. Biscuits. The thing. And the thing. Okay, very good. Uh, Bessie.
there, there is no money in my apartment. There are two coins on the floor. There are two coins on the floor, Caesar. Uh, there are no money. Uh -huh. Money is uncountable. Uncountable. There's, there's not. There's no. no Only money. there's no. There's no money. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Read it. There's no money in my bank account. Okay, very good. Oscar Arnulfo. There, there are some washing up in the sink. Uh -huh, but washing up, washing up is eh, ropa. Okay, no la puedo contar. Puedo contar los pantalones, las camisas. So? Okay. There is some watching up in the sink. There is some watching up in the sink. Okay, Jimmy. Um, there are no clouds in the sky. There are no clouds in the sky. Very good. Ramon. Um, there, there are not many people here. There are not many people here. Very good. Next, uh, Sandra. Uh, there's a goofy po pi pillow. No, there's a huge pile of washing. A pile. Of there's a huge there's pile. A, there's a huge pile of washing. Of washing. Eso quiere decir hay una gran montaña de ropa. Okay, very good. There is a huge pile of watching. Okay, Delia. There are a lot of cars on the road today. There are a lot of cars on the road today. Francisco. There's 100 centimeters in a meter. Centimeters. Centimeters. In a meter. Okay, everybody repeat after me. There are 100 centimeters in a, in a meter. There, there are 100 in a meter. Okay, there are a lot of cars on the road today. There are a lot of cars on the road today. Okay, there is one piece of paper. There is one, there piece, is one piece of paper. Piece of paper. paper. There are eight pins. There, there are eight, eight pins. pins. There's the bus. There's the bus. The bus. bus. There's a bowl of oranges. There's a bowl of oranges. A bowl of oranges. A bowl of oranges. There are some oranges in the bowl. There are some oranges orange in the bowl. Oranges. Oranges. Orange. 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 One orange, two oranges. Okay. There are two cups of coffee. There are two cups of coffee. There is a bag of potatoes. There is a bag of potatoes. Okay. There is some butter in the fridge. There's some butter in the fridge. There's a hair in my soup. There's a hair in my soup. There's a lot of snow on the ground. There's a lot of snow on the ground. There are a few biscuits in the tin. There are a few biscuits in the tin. There are two coins on the floor. There, there are two coins, coins on the floor. floor. There is no money in my bank account. There is no money, money in the bank, bank account. account. No. Okay, there is some washing up in the sink. There is some washing up in the sink. There are no clouds in the sky. 
There are, there are not, are not many people. people. Hi. 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 There are not many people here. There are not, not, are not many people, many people here. here. There's a huge pile of washing. There's, There's a, a huge pile of washing. Pile of washing. washing. There are a lot of cars on the road today. They are a lot of cars on the road today. Uh -huh. There's there are one hundred centimeters in a meter. There are one hundred centimeters in a meter. Okay. So the what the what is the what is this one number one? Let's see. I'm going to start with Sandra. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Sandra. <laughs> there is a restaurant. Is there? Ah, remember that they, these are questions, okay? Again? Hello, Sandra? Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. How is the question? Is there a restaurant? Is there a restaurant? Okay, let's see. The next one, Mario Montano. Are there more kids in the school? Uh huh. Are are there monkeys in the school? Are there monkeys in the zoo, Karen? Are there many frogs? Are there many frogs? Okay, very good. Next, Catherine. Um, is there a message for me? Is there a message for me? Are you mensaje para mí? Desi. Hello, Bessie. Hello. Is there any good idea? Is there any good idea? Okay, let's continue with Caesar. Are there for rabbits? Are there for rabbits? Roberto Antonio. Are there many people? Are there many people? Oscar Arnulfo. Is there any water left? Is there any water left? Very good. Ginny. Enough Are is there? suficientes. Are there enough crayons? Are there enough crayons? Jacqueline. Is there an all here? Is there an all here? Okay, repeat after me. Is there a restaurant? Is there a restaurant? Are there monkeys in the zoo? Are there monkeys in the zoo? Are there many frogs? Are there many frogs? Is there a message for me? Is there a message for me? Is there any good idea? Is, Is there, there any, any good, good idea? idea? Are there four rabbits? Are there four there rabbits? rabbits? Are there many people? Are, Are there, there many, many, people? many people? Is there any water left? Is there, Is there, any, any, water water left? there any water left? Are there enough crayons? Are there, Are there, there enough, enough crayons? crayons? Is there an all here? Is there a no here? Okay, questions about vocabulary. Is there any water left? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Hay todavía, hay todavía quedado agua? Hay agua que haya sobrado? No questions. No questions, teacher. Okay, very good. So, 
Eh, I'm gonna eh, I'm gonna check the list again, okay? So just give me a second, please. Okay. Bessie Stephanie Mendes. <laughs> Bessie Stephanie Mendes. Present. Okay, thank you. Carlos Andrés Ramos Galicia. Cesar Eduardo Alfaro Parada. Present. Thank you. Cristina Marisol García Argueta. Delia Noemí Valiente Linares. Present. Thank you. Enrique Américo Molina Barraza. Present. Okay. Francisco Edgardo Méndez Coreas. Present. Okay. Eh, Jeremías Adonai Miranda. Ok, Karen Yesenia López Martínez. Present. Ok, Katherine Stephanie Quintanilla. Present. Ok, Mario Mauricio Montano Molina. Present. Ok, Oscar Alejandro Molina Campos. Oscar Arnulfo Villato, Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you. Ramón Alexander Mesa Cuadra. Present. Thank you. Eh, Roberto Antonio Ortiz Reyes. Present. Thank you. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. I'm here. Okay. Eh, Susana Carolina Guevara Ángel. Eh, Sochi Leneida Vázquez Valencia. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas Pérez. Present. And Jenny Suleima Santos Chavez. Present. Okay, very good, guys. Let's move on, okay? Okay, so we're going to move to the next part okay okay what is number one look at the picture look at the picture okay okay sandra what is number one there um there is a there is a sofa uh-huh what is number one sandra there is a sofa there is a sofa okay now, number two, Roberto Antonio. Me la diste. There are uh, some plants. Yeah, there are some plants. Okay, very good. Uh, the next one, Oscar Arnulfo. There aren't any chairs. There aren't any chairs. Okay, Enrique. I... No, Enrique, Enrique. There isn't a television. There isn't a television. Very good. Now, the next one, Jacqueline. There are two cats. There are two cats. Ramon. There, um, there aren't three dogs. There aren't three dogs. Very good. Francisco. There are any picture, pictures. There aren't. No, I. They are. There are any picture. Okay. Now, the next one. Esto debería ser some. Okay. Delia. There is a man. There is a man. Okay. Very good. Uh, who is next? 
there. I've seen that. Ah, Bessie. There is a table. There is a table. Yes. Where? Where is the table? Look at the picture. Where is the table? There isn't a table. There isn't a table. Very good. Mario Montano. There are some mice. Mice. There are some mice. Okay, repeat after me. There's a sofa. There is a sofa. There's a sofa. There are some plants. There are, there are some plans. Plans. There is there is plans. Plans. and there aren't any chairs. There, there are, are any chairs. chairs. There isn't a television. There, there isn't a television. television. There are two cats. There, there, are are cats. Cats. there, are there aren't three dogs. There, there are aren't three dogs. dogs. There are some pictures. There, there are, are some pictures. pictures. There is a man. There is, there, is a man. Man. there is a man. There isn't a table. There isn't a table. There are some mice. Okay, very good. Now we're going to go back to here. Okay, now change these strange sentences so that you use there plus the correct tense of the B. Two apples are on the table. How can you say that using there is or there are? There are two apples. Yeah. Okay, that's correct. There, there, are. there are two apples. Yeah. Two apples on the table. Uh, on the on table. table. There are two apples on the table. Very good. Okay. Apples. There are two apples on the table. Okay, now I'm not going to write everything, so you tell me. Okay, uh, Karen, what is not the next one, Karen? A boy doesn't exist in the street. There, there is. Wait, two apples. Huh? There? Is, no, there, there is, is or there isn't? There isn't a boy in the street. Okay, yeah, in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that is better if I say on the street, okay? There isn't a boy on the street. Okay, very good. Now, what is the next one, Catherine? There is... It's a question. Remember, it's a question, Catherine. Uh, yes, sorry. There. Um, is there ATM. an ATM near here? Very good. Excellent. Near here. Is there an ATM near here? Very good. Party. Okay, let's see, Bessie. No, let me see. Yeah, Bessie. What is the next one, Bessie? A party exists now. There a party? There? There is a party. There is. There is a party. Very good. There is a party. Okay, the next one. A lot of illnesses exist in this century. Do you know what is the meaning of illnesses? No, teacher. Enfermedades. Okay, let me see who is next. Uh, 
Uh, who is next? Next, next. Caesar. What is the next one, Caesar? Um, there are. Uh huh. There are Ellen. Illnesses. Illnesses. Illnesses uh, exist in this center. Okay, now we're gonna put here there are a lot of, a lot. of illnesses in this century. In this century. You know what is the meaning of century, huh? What is the meaning of century? Siglo. Siglo. Hay muchas enfermedades en este siglo. Y allá decía, hay muchas enfermedades. No, muchas enfermedades existen en este siglo. Okay. Eh, Sandra, what is next? There, there are... Um, there, there is hardly any people are the are at the meeting. There are hardly any people at the meeting. Okay, there are hardly there any people at the, the meeting. meeting. Hardly. Okay, hay escasa gente. En la reunión. Ok, so hardly any people, escasa, hardly, difícilmente, duramente, hay escasamente, hay escasa gente en, el, en la reunión. Ok, the next one, Roberto Antonio. There is a Starbucks next to the bank. Yeah, there is a Starbucks teacher. Yes, sir. And the sentences when they use any is negative. Yeah, but in this case, uh, hardly any people, porque como es. Eh, con sentido negativo, el contenido es negativo. Entonces sí se puede utilizar como any. Ok, really. Nada, porque estoy hablando de escaso. Ok, there is a Starbucks next to the bank. Ok, very good. Next to the bank. Ok, excelente. What is the next one? Who is next? Let me see who is next. Ramon, what is next? I don't, I don't watch. I know. Ramon, what is next? There is a table in the garden. There is a table in the garden. Uh, Enrique. There isn't a bus in my flat. Okay, do you know what is a flat? Sí, sir. Exacto, un apartamento, el apartamento. Okay, Francisco. Remember that there is a question. Is there? Uh -huh. Is there a train exit? No, no exist. Is there a train? Is there a train? Go ahead, Francisco. Is there a train? Is there a train to Glasgow tonight? To Glasgow tonight? Very good. Jenny. 
there are no there is somewhere to get coffee in the station uh, again there is somewhere but it's a question remember it's a question uh, is there is uh -huh. there somewhere to get Coffee in the station. Is there somewhere to get coffee in the station? Very good. Uh, Delia? I'm not sure, but I think it's there are a lot of mountain six in Switzerland. Uh huh, but you have to use there is or there are. There are. There is, there is, there is. No, because it's mountains. Ah, there are. We're talking about plural, uh huh? Okay, there are a lot of mountains exist in Switzerland. No, no, not exist. There are Wait, a lot of mountains in Switzerland. Okay. Hay un montón de montañas en, en Suiza. Mm. So I don't need exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very okay. good, very good. Uh, Jacqueline. There are many. There are? There aren't. Uh -huh. Many mos mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes. Near? Near the lake. Near the lake. Okay, there are many mosquitoes near the lake. Oscar Arnulfo. Are the biscuits at the meeting? Are there biscuits or donuts at the meeting? Enrique. Um, there, is, there isn't bread. In the kitchen. Uh -huh. There isn't bread. any bread. Any bread in the, in the kitchen. Ok, vamos a parar aquí. Ahí terminan ustedes, ok. Ahora, quiero recordarles. Voy a posicionarme en la, en la plataforma, ok. Y aquí tengo a Xochitl, que no está ahora, que debe tarea a Jacqueline. Ya prácticamente estamos en la tarea 4, ¿verdad? Y este es el segundo día, estamos bien. O sea, eh, tenemos que terminar, Sandra, la tarea 3. Esa es de la, de la unidad 3. Ahí le falta todavía tarea 14, tarea 15. Y debe comenzar la tarea 16 y 17 de la unidad 4. ¿Estamos de acuerdo, Sandra? Terminar la tarea 13, la 14, la 15 y comenzar la 16, la 17. Y si pueden adelantar, mucho que mejor. Jacqueline Valdía, ¿verdad? Jenny va una adelante, está bien. Va, ahora vamos a ir con las demás. Bessie ya terminó las tareas de la unidad 3, pero le falta comenzar a hacer las de la unidad 4, la 16 y la 17. Si puede adelantar más, mucho que mejor. César Eduardo, igual condición, ¿verdad? Comenzar las tareas de la unidad 4. Este, Cristina, bueno, ella ha trabajado, pero no ha estado en clase, eso le va a afectar. Delia Noemí ya terminó hasta la tarea 4. Excelente. Enrique ya terminó la, las tareas de la unidad 4. Francisco va bien. Solo le toca hacer. Bueno, si puede adelantar, adelante. Eh, Jeremías, bueno, ya terminó. Eh, quiero ver qué más. Karen, hay que terminar la tarea 3 de la unidad 3. Le hace falta la tarea 14, le hace falta la 15 y de la unidad 4, tarea 16 y 17. Catherine, estamos bien. Mario, 
Necesita ponerse al día con las tareas de la unidad 4. Luego, Oscar Arnulfo, estamos bien. Ramón, ya terminó las tareas de la unidad 3. Excelente. Y ya comenzó la, la, las dos tareas. Va, ahora quiero ver. Pero le hace falta, quiero ver, ya hizo el examen midterm. Sí, ya lo hizo. Ok, excelente, Ramón. Ramón, estamos al día. Y eh, Roberto Antonio Ortiz, le hace falta la última tarea de la unidad 3, la tarea 15 y la tarea 16 y 17 para estar al día. Ok, así que por favor, pónganse las pilas para que eh, el día lunes, acuérdense, el día lunes ya debemos de haber hecho el final. Yo estoy tratando de que terminemos el libro el día viernes, para que usted pueda hacer el examen final, ¿verdad? En el fin de semana y el día lunes llenamos la encuesta y hacemos ejercicio general de lo que usted crea que necesita más refuerzo. ¿De acuerdo? Para que así ya usted comience el día martes. ¿Ok? Bien, ahora, vámonos a ir con... Eso era con respecto a la plataforma. Ahora, con respecto a quién le toca ahora, es a Jeremías. Jeremías ya se fue. No está. ¿Quién quisiera agarrar la asesoría privada de esta noche? Solo son diez minutos. Hola, hola. Nadie. Yo creí que iban a saltar como cinco. No, yo, profe, yo. Ajá. Teacher. No tengan pena. Diga. Una pregunta. Diga. Una pregunta. Este, eh, con los con los tiempos de, o sea, el conteo de los minutos que llevamos este, conectados y todo, eh, tengo preguntas si en caso yo cuánto debería o por el estilo, o llego al 80%, o más del 80%, o algo por el estilo. Pues, tengo no sé, duda. ahí tendríamos que ver. ¿Quién me está hablando? ¿Quién me está hablando? ¿Aló? ¿Quién me está hablando? No, no escucho. Mire, no sé, usted tiene que contar. ¿Va? Por ejemplo, aquí usted puede ver que aquí lo llevan... Bueno, estas son las notas, ¿verdad? De las tareas. Ok, ah, aquí a propósito le vamos a poner a... A Ramón, que ya terminó la tarea 2. Y que ya terminó la tarea 3. Y que ya terminó el examen midterm también, Ramón. Ok, vaya. Ahora, si usted ve aquí, aquí eh, tendríamos que contar los minutos. Mire, aquí le dice los minutos que usted hizo en la sesión número uno, en la sesión dos, en la sesión tres, en la sesión cuatro. Allí había que ir a contar los minutos. No le podría decir yo ahorita. Habría que contar los minutos. Lo que debe hacer es que ya no falte más, ¿verdad? Y tratar de ingresar lo más pronto posible a la, a la plataforma. ¿Preguntas? Teacher, Diga. ¿A qué se refiere con sesión 1, sesión 2? ¿Se refiere a desde el primer día que empezamos clases? Sí. Vaya. Vale. Si usted ve sesión 1, ¿ok? Esto creo que fue el primer día de clase, fue el lunes. Entonces aquí está, el lunes 1 de marzo. Y entonces aquí tiene, el 1 significa que usted estuvo en la plataforma. Pero va, por ejemplo, Sandra estuvo el día 1, pero solo estuvo 78 minutos. Roberto solo estuvo 82 minutos. Ramón solo estuvo 17 minutos. A eso me refiero. Es que no son los días, son los minutos. Entonces, hay que contar todos los minutos. El total de minutos son 80, 
Quiero ver, son 80 horas, son 2400 minutos. Quítele 20%. Eh, ahorita ya casi. No, 2400 no, sería 1920 minutos lo que usted necesita para pasar. 1920 minutos. ¿Le quedó claro ahí, a, ahora? Ahora, el que ha sido consistente y que ha venido a toda la clave, no se tiene que preocupar. ¿Ok? Preguntas. ¿No hay preguntas? No, teacher. No, teacher. ¿Seguros? Bueno, ¿quién se quiere quedar? Bueno, ya solo tenemos disponible como seis minutos. ¿Quién se quiere quedar seis minutos? Para que pregunte cualquier cosa. Aunque ya la hayamos recibido, teacher. Aunque ya la haya recibido, como no está Jeremías. Puedo. Sí, sí puede. Okay. ¿Quién se va a quedar? Oscar, de Toro. Ok, excelente. Bueno, a los demás, pónganse al día para que terminemos este viernes. En el fin de semana hacemos el examen final y quedamos tranquilos. Ya el lunes ya solo venimos a retroalimentar. ¿Ok? Ok, sí, bye bye. Sí, See you tomorrow. Night. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Bye. Bye bye, Ramón. And very good, Ramón. <laughs> ok, guys, bye bye. Bye. Bye, Roberto. Bye, Sandra. <laughs> ok, dígame, eh, Oscar Arnulfo. Ok, Mr. Dequa. Mi pregunta es, y lo que sí me ha quedado algo en la nube, es con el do y el das. Ajá, ¿Cómo, bueno. ¿Cómo saber cómo y cuándo utilizarlo? Vaya, ok. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo identificar esa parte? Pues prácticamente. Vaya, excelente. Vaya, yo voy a irme a, a llamar un documento de lo de el simple present tense simple present simple present Este. Vaya, ahorita estoy jalando el, el documento que yo les había mandado del do y el das. Sí, es la guía que voy a ejercer. Vaya, vale, ok, Vamos correcto. Vaya. Vale. Okay. Entonces, aquí sí nos explican. No sé si estoy compartiendo pantalla. No. Vaya, le voy a compartir la pantalla ahorita. ¿La ve? Sí. Bien, entonces dice que para I, you, we, they, en afirmativo, no necesito auxiliar. No necesito ni tú ni das. Okay. Pero eso sí, me dice que para I, you, we, they, yo voy a utilizar el verbo en su forma base. Nada más. Pero con he, she, and it, yo tengo que conjugarlo. O sea, agregarle una S o una ES. Una S, exacto. ¿verdad? O una ES. Ya habíamos puesto los casos, ¿verdad? Sí. En la guía aparece en qué caso le vamos a agregar ES. Y en qué caso, cuando termina en Y, vamos a eliminar la Y. Y vamos a agregarle I, E, S. Ok. Sí, Cuando termine en Y, seguido de consonante. Consonante más Y. Okay. Bien. Ahora, aquí nos dice también que para las negativas, yo voy a utilizar el auxiliar do. Para I, you, I, you we, we they. y they. Con la partícula negativa, not, que contractado es don't. Don't. ¿Verdad? Okay. ok. Aquí la tenemos. La contracción es don't. don't. 
Ok. okay. Y la de does not es doesn't. ¿Y con quién la voy a utilizar? Dice que la voy a utilizar con I, you, we y they. El do. Pero que con he, she, and it, yo voy a utilizar doesn't. Y al mismo tiempo, en las preguntas, voy a utilizar do para I, you, we, they. Y does para he, she, and it. Y que el auxiliar lo voy a anteponer al sujeto. Al sujeto. ¿Va? Do I play? Does he play? Do you play? Do we play? Do they play? Pero, does he play? Does she play? And does it play? ¿Ok? Entonces, habíamos dicho aquí, y aquí teníamos... Vamos a hacer la pregunta, va. Do you read books? Y habíamos dicho con do, I, you, I, you we, we they. they. Y con das, da, he, she, and it. Ahora, lo único que teníamos que tener cuidado es que algunas veces no utilizamos los pronombres. Exacto, sino que utilizamos exacto. los nombres propios. Entonces hay que identificar qué sujeto es. Si es I, you, we, they, o he, she, and it. Para utilizar el auxiliar correspondiente. ¿Ok? Igual en y, las cosas. Igual en las cosas. Singulares. ¿va? Singulares. Porque en las plurales se vuelven they. Las sillas. Sí, they. Ah, son ellas. Los burros. Ellos. ¿verdad? Entonces, en las cosas y en los animales, íbamos a utilizar he. Okay, perfecto. Correcto, con das. Vale. Y con double H words, con palabras double H, o sea, como what, when, where. Y vamos a poner la double H word al comienzo. Aquí está, mire, what, when. Y luego el auxiliar y luego el sujeto. What do you play on your computer? ¿Qué juega en su computadora? What do you play? When does your mother, ¿por qué? Porque your mother se convierte en ella, ¿verdad? Ella. Entonces okay. uso does. When does your mother go to work? Okay. She goes to work at six o'clock. And where? Y como es you, where okay. do you work? Where do you meet your friends? Okay. I meet them at the bus stop. Igual cuando contestamos en... En, con do, con das, como por ejemplo ahí, when does your mother go to work, eh, veo que usted no dice she goes, sino que she goes, she goes. No, cuando tengo el auxiliar en, en preguntas y en negativas, el verbo va en su forma base. ¿Y, de, y la respuesta? En las afirmativas, no, cuidado, porque en la, solo en afirmativas. Como en la afirmativa no tengo auxiliar, entonces sí tengo que conjugar el verbo. Ok. ¿Verdad? Porque si usted ve, ¿qué lo vamos a volver a, a poner? En las, en las negativas sí tengo auxiliar. De do, das. En las preguntas sí tengo auxiliar. Do, das. Pero en la afirmativa no uso el auxiliar. Entonces... Con la tercera persona, he, she, and it, sí tengo que conjugar el verbo. ¿De acuerdo? Ya más o menos estamos viendo la luz. Vaya, hagamos una cosa. Revise otra vez los ejercicios y si hay alguna pregunta, la vamos a evaluar el día de mañana. ¿Ok? Ok, ok, ok. Vamos a, no, a dedicarle tiempo. Dedicarle un poquito, ¿verdad? Ahí sí, salen sí. las confusiones también, ¿verdad? Y póngale un asterisco a cualquier cosa que usted tenga duda y la evacuamos sí. aquí el día de mañana. Sí, no, por, de, de efecto eso es lo que a mí me cuesta identificar cuando son ellos o él o cuando no, no lo utilizamos directamente. Ajá, bueno, por ejemplo, eh, your mother... 
ella. Your father. Él. Él. Your cousin. Puede ser él o puede ser ella. Puede ser ella. Va. El primo. Yo, primo. Ajá. Your friend. Puede ser él o puede ser ella. Cuando digo your friends, allí sí son ellos. Ellos. ¿verdad? Entonces sí, ahí hay que tener cuidado con, con eso. Okay. No. El lunes, el lunes vamos a repasar el, el, todo el presente simple para que eh, tengamos, pues nos vayamos más tranquilos. Ok. De acuerdo. Perfecto. Ok. Vaya, lo voy a dejar descansar, ok, <risa> para que estemos atentos el día de mañana, ok. Ok, ok, teacher. Gracias, muy amable. Ok, you're welcome. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay, very good.